नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू सी आई टी एंड सी आर टी इज लाइव फोन एंड इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इस तानवी खुराना एंड यू वॉचिंग आर्स ऑन ई विद चैनल नंबर टेन ऑल द टेंथ क्लास स्टूडेंट्स यू आर हियर विद आस ऑन दिस इंग्लिश क्लास एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टेक्सट बुक सो द क्वेश्चन अराइज इज दैट वॉट इज देर टू अंडरस्टैंड इन द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टेक्स्ट बुक वेल देर आर मल्टीपल थिंग्स टू अंडरस्टैंड वील बी डिस्कसिंग ईच एंड एवरी आस्पेक्ट इन दिस प्रोग्राम एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन एनी क्वेरीज जस्ट गिव अस अ कॉल ऑन आर नंबर विच इज डबल एट डबल जीरो डबल फोर जीरो डबल फाइव नाइन And if you want to email us, the email ID would be dth. dot class one zero at the rate cit. dot nic. dot in. So there are so many ways through which can, you can connect with us and raise your queries. Let me please introduce to you our guest for this program. We have with us Professor R. Meghnathan. So yeah, hello, welcome. Hello, Sanmi. Hello, learners. How are you all? I'm sure they are doing good, sir. <laughs> so, um, sir is the a professor from Department of Education and Languages, NCERT, New Delhi, and uh, he'll be explaining you everything regarding the textbook. Before we begin this program, I have an announcement to make. That is regarding India's G20 presidency. Well, we are extremely proud of the fact that India assumed G20 presidency and would convene the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in the country this year. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of Vasudev Kutumbakam or should i say the world is one family so with that announcement let's begin this conversation so um like i said what exactly is there to understand in the english language okay. textbook understand the textbook yes uh, rather than understanding in the book that comes later okay okay uh you know that this these books uh, have been there from 2006 okay. 6 i yeah 6 onwards uh, but however children come to learners come to school hmm. every year in class 10 so the first and foremost thing for language textbook language learning is to understand what material we have hmm. what materials we have so uh, materials we we mean the textbooks and other materials the learners uh, learn teachers teach so hmm. this session especially we are devoting to explain how to what is there in the textbooks and how we will a learner can make use of it that is that is the purpose we are not going to teach any language aspect or in poem or or or, or a text or anything uh, else only how as i have come to class 10 okay the session has now began mm. i the children have come to class 10 mm. i want to understand how i can make use of the textbooks one is the teacher will be this is uh, teaching the textbook hmm. uh, tell the learners how to make use of it hmm. but i also need to understand as a student uh, how i can use these books and the purposes of the books so first of all uh, uh, let's let's look at what books we have okay. learners we have um, three books as part of the textbooks in class 10 hmm. the first one is the if you and if you look at it the first flight the main textbook what is the purpose of the main textbook that is the uh, you can see it here uh, the the first flight is the uh, detailed and in depth use of the textbook okay. so the the texts have to be read hmm. understood reflected then and it's also for language learning reading with comprehension vocabulary hmm. grammar writing listening speaking so the whole language learning hmm. all sorts of activities happen through the this textbooks as an instrument a launching pad learners and teachers can move beyond it we'll come to that later okay. then second one let us look at it this is the uh, supplementary reader the first one is the uh, the textbook first flight then second one is the supplementary reader which is for uh, uh, it's named as a uh, footprints without feet and then you can see uh, it is for extensive reading reading for pleasure and reading to promote reading okay. the major purpose is simply read understand reflect the on the stories and read the suggested reading also mm. the third one is words and expressions mm. uh, this is uh, the workbook okay this is the, this is the workbook so you, you can see it uh, the book also here um, here here is the book uh, so you can see that this is this was added uh, later uh this was added later based on the demand from teachers and and of course central board of secondary education cbse mm -hmm. so we have the three books with us with these three books a learner 
has 11 to 10 to 11 months to read, uh, you know, make use of it, uh, understand, read, do the activities and of course, with the, with the help of the teacher. So, now look at it, what is there in the main textbook, the, the, the what does the main textbook, the, the, the first, first flight right. uh, have. Hmm. So, you, if you look at typically a lesson, it has before you read section that hmm. takes you the learner into the textbook. Right. So, it is connecting with the previous knowledge of the learner. Hmm. Then, then, then there is a reading text, a narrative in which the, 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 the in while reading comprehension is also inbuilt. Okay. So, that, that I will I'll, 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 I'll show the how the textbook moves on. Uh, if you look at the, the this one, uh, um, sorry, let me, let me show that. Class, class 10, uh, the main textbook, uh, here is if, if you look at it, uh, this is the first lesson I have taken uh, and see that you can see that uh, before you read, which takes the learner connecting with his previous knowledge and his life, uh, lived in experience into the textbook. So, there are also activities in that. What I would really tell the learners is just um, uh, read the textbook, the text before the teacher mm. takes up in the classroom. And, and that would help you help all the learners to understand the reading and the reading text and of course, learning the language vocabulary learning may, uh, all, all, the, all sorts of learning. Mm -hmm. Then this activity is there, then it moves on to let us say uh, the real the actual text comes the reading of the text. So, the reading of the text comes then, then you will see interestingly if, if, while reading the text there is a comprehension questions in between. This we call it oral comprehension check. Mm -hmm. So, learners themselves, students themselves read and answer. In the classroom, the teacher would ask the children work in groups or in pairs to do. But uh, what I would say that if you, if you read beforehand, then you try to attempt and answer the questions on your own. Okay. So, this enables your while reading comprehension. Yeah. So, and then you will see that uh, uh, the vocabulary glossary is given meaning of the words, some of the words hmm. which, which, which will not disturb the flow of reading. Right. So, it is given not at the end and the side and the, the right hand side of it. So, so, this is the major text. What I would say, uh, uh, I mean even suggest to the learners is read the text more than once, attempt on your own. And do not bother if you understand less in the first reading, maybe 30 to 40 percent if you understand I will be more than happy, then the second reading will make it, you may make use of the dictionary and all later, mm -hmm. but this oral through the oral comprehension check you read on your own and try to attempt to answer the question. Then comes thinking about the text, so this is overall comprehension of the text. Mm -hmm. So, you have read it and while reading you checked your own comprehension, mm -hmm. now the, the, this is about thinking about the text that so we have titled it as thinking about the text. Okay. So, you, you have read it understood to some extent, mm -hmm. then you think about the text, what is there in the text. Right. So, th that is what, so, the, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. thinking about the text, mm -hmm. uh, why is it thinking about as in what is there to think about uh, Okay, the you have, uh, yeah, that is what. In everywhere we have given thinking about language, yeah. thinking about grammar, uh, things like that. It is not thinking. Thinking mm -hmm. is you are doing, mm -hmm. thinking about is you have done it, mm -hmm. then you want to understand from uh, you infer things, mm -hmm. you, 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 you derive ideas. Okay. So, it is a meta, meta cognitive abilities. Okay. Uh, so, in that case, uh, learners, learners reading comprehension improves, okay. critical, critical ability improves. Okay. So, so, thinking about the text, hmm. then, then followed by thinking about language. Hmm. This is vocabulary and grammar hmm. and you will find uh, uh, the, the vocabulary rooted from the text hmm. coming, in, com, coming to the uh, moving beyond that, okay. that is one thing. Then, then, then the grammar item uh, hmm. is given in context, okay. not, not the rules are given first. You, you work with the language, work with the language in sim simple sentences, single sentences and as well as in uh, paragraphs, then you discover the rules. So, you said that, so that is what a relative class is there, then you will find uh, first the uh, learners are given input exposure to language, mm. the grammar item, children notice it, learners notice it, then oh this is how uh, our uh, the particular relative class, this is the rule for it. But you do not begin with the rules that mm. nobody learns the language. Mm. Then look at it, then we have uh, uh, other aspects of speaking, listening and also uh, 
uh, grammar I mean sorry and also project work okay. I'll, I'll come to that later okay. uh, so if you can see it here um, uh, thinking about language uh, then then uh, listening and speaking okay. and and uh, uh, writing also is there writing extrapolative as well as uh, in context questions in text questions means some of them are you read and understand like the, like write the character sketch of the person okay. uh, and, and this is one one set of questions you read the text and answer other one is moving beyond the textbook extrapolative right so uh, that, 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 that's what then your project work now look at it there is another interesting aspect you will find uh, you you will you will find uh, look at the look at the slide there sir can you make it full screen yeah yeah you will find it uh, you have in the textbook itself uh, at the end of each lesson hmm. one important aspect tips for teachers parent and also for students hmm. it, it says that in this lesson we have done this hmm. what we have done the the book the, the book tells the reader the user the students teachers and parents we have done this in the particular lesson okay means we have we have given a reading text we have we have the reading comprehension questions on this these aspects hmm. this grammar item we have done and you can see but uh, having learnt that mm. what a teacher can do yeah. to enhance learning beyond this particular text okay. so what you can do that is there that is very, very very interesting because this will be kind of suggesting a kind of uh, methodology to the teacher you can see it in the um, uh, slide in the I am showing the pdf of the textbook uh, in this lesson what we have done so these are the things we have done in class uh, uh, the first lesson then what teachers can do this much uh, this is there so there are so many points here other uh, points in terms of activities reading grammar speaking project work so this enables the teacher hmm. to get guided right. whichever requires guidance hmm. there are teachers who can do much beyond this hmm. but these are all only suggestive okay. not not restrictive now let's let's go back to the uh, uh, um, what we have in the other textbook okay. so uh, ha having uh, uh, this one Look at it. The next textbook we have is the um, footprints without uh, foot. Yeah, footprints without without feet. Uh, you will see. Uh, the, it has. It. It's. It's. We. I, we said that it is for um, extensive reading. Yeah. Reading for pleasure. Hmm. So, but unfortunately, uh, many school systems and teachers want to teach line by line, word by word, and explaining and translating. That actually kills the spirit of this book. So what I request that uh, both not only the teachers and learners also. So uh, the the book is structured in such a way that is a warm up or introduction which takes the learner into the textbook. Hmm. Fine. Then read and find out. This is not a kind of comprehension alone. Okay. You read and find out what is going to happen in the text we are we you will be reading. Okay. So there in the main textbook you have read and, and you are expected to understand with comprehension yeah. with the meaning and the, got the meaning of it then move on to and uh, orally doing the oral comprehension check okay. then overall reading here hmm. it is a kind of predicting okay. what will happen in the story kind of open to imagination uh, yes also as you read a text suppose you watch a movie you watch a serial or a drama then in between uh, some you uh, know break comes yeah. commercial break then you will be thinking what will happen to this hmm. so, so it's, it, this enables to predict right. uh, assume what would be happening hmm. so th this in this warm up and uh, in, in this read uh, read and find out hmm. as you can see uh, learners read a chunk then wait for a while hmm. to understand hmm. uh, by answering by doing these questions and say that where, where will my story go hmm. and that's what then then we have uh, the read and find out continues in the while reading hmm. then think about it these are all ideas okay. and talk about it so having read a story hmm. having read a short story having read a piece for extensive reading hmm. so you you think about it right. it's not just doing it hmm. now you now it's a kind of no uh, critical analysis hmm. or or, or uh, inferential extrapolative hmm. things then talk about it hmm. then you discuss with your uh, uh, people in a group or the teacher or anybody okay the, hmm. so this would be a discussion or a debate when we say anyway talk about anyway it. some of them it is discussion in the classroom group work pair work hmm. some of them are debate in the uh, uh, in the classroom we act, uh, do it okay. then some of them are even uh, writing for a newspaper 
or something like that. So teachers are about to encourage for this? I expected to oh. and, and that is why the teachers pages uh, what we have done what we can do okay. helps. Also, we have we have got a lot of videos for teachers, a mm. uh, lot of uh, what say a lot of um, uh, you know uh, Nista courses also we yeah. organized. So uh, things happen. Mm. The I, thing is, as a learner, how I understand these textbooks. <laughs> so then then the, if you look at it, it has suggested reading at the end of uh, each each uh, 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 this one lesson. Mm. The suggested reading is for the is to promote extensive reading for the learner. Okay. And, and, and how far learners read uh, we do not know and, uh, and what we have done up to classes 6 to 12 in all the classes when we have uh, ex extensive reading hmm. uh, the supplementary readers we have, we, have, we have deliberately kept short stories only. Okay. We have not kept uh, long reading which okay. CBSC had for some time then found it uh, not working very well. Hmm. So, we have at the most 8 pages, 7 pages small short story. So, that is one of the ways enable the learners to get into the world of reading. So, it, it actually uh, 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 makes uh, reading happen in the classroom. So, now let us let us move on to the next textbook. Uh, um, this is called uh, uh, words and expressions. So, uh, we, we can see here um, the workbook, the workbook is for actually for practice. And, and if you look at the workbook, it begins uh, with let us begin. Right. So, now let us look at the uh, book uh, a bit. You, you can see uh, the, the, the workbook is meant to be meant to be for practicing. Okay. So, we have the textbook here uh, which has less than 10 lessons mm. and this is almost corresponding uh, lessons, uh, practices, okay. uh, practice uh, worksheets like. So, we, we can see very well uh, each each of these having um, uh, the same title with the textbook lesson title, okay. but the, uh, the it is connecting the textbook lesson for that matter the major main textbook mm. uh, and it also has mm. very interestingly uh, the, the first section has a kind of sub text of the uh, reading text of the textbook. Right. So, whatever uh, lesson uh, we had in the main textbook hmm. that is that is uh, suppose for the for letter to God from this. Here this particular textbook has the summary of it, okay. but summary is shuffled. Okay. So, learners have to reread the main textbook and come back to do this activity. Right. So, when we say that this is a workbook, so workbook is uh, to practice. Practice what exactly? Grammar? Practice not vocabulary. only grammar, vocabulary. reading, reading, vocabulary, vocabulary. grammar hmm. and also some listening and speaking activity. Okay. It is not replacing, it is not the uh, another textbook, it is reinforcing the skills learned here. It is a whole package. A whole package. Okay. So, then you look at it, then you have reading comprehension task for revision hmm. of whatever you have read in the uh, understood in the uh, in the main textbook reading comprehension okay. then inferential and extrapolation questions hmm. then we have vocabulary then we also have grammar grammar in two ways let let, let me show you from the workbook itself okay. uh, or, or grammar uh, you, you very interestingly um, see that we say that it is grammar so hmm. learners you can refer to it in the pdf file available then grammar this is a particular aspect of grammar is given okay. the other one is integrated grammar okay editing is there so or, or error finding is there so if you look at the mm, slide there mm. you will see grammar then particular suppose uh, parts of uh, not parts of speech uh, reported speech na narration or act active voice passive voice voice and tense that is there uh, as one section and followed by an applied grammar which is integrated grammar okay not one aspect of grammar is tested mm. then we have listening speaking and writing so this is how the textbook uh, textbooks have, have been uh, planned let me let me show you uh, uh, one another thing sure uh, uh, that is uh, uh, I, I need to tell the learners uh, uh, some other things the supplementary reader uh, let me show a minute then we will want to i think we don't have much time yeah. also so, you will see that this is the uh, supplementary reader, we have read and find out questions, then in between it is there, it takes time, yeah, okay. Then towards the end we have, towards the end we have uh, thinking, of, think about it, talk about it. I want to show these learners that one. So, think about the ideas, 
So, mm -hmm. the basic difference between this, mm -hmm. uh, uh, think about it, the, uh, you can see it uh, learners there, these questions are not informative questions, mm -hmm. they are inferential interpretative questions. Okay. This is what we do when you read a novel mm -hmm. or, or a short story on your own interest, mm -hmm. but you will not be looking for like textbook questions. Mm -hmm. So, the same way think about it and talk about it then suggested reading. Right. Learners, let me request you and mm -hmm. submit to you, you will not have time later in your life when you become uh, occupied with your job and all. So, better read uh, now only. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me also throw uh, uh, some light on uh, uh, what the book also offers otherwise. Okay. So, it is a comprehensive package for learners to learn, teachers to teach. Hmm. And it also has uh, project work activities okay. and, and it also has um, suggested reading as you said here in the main textbook also and we have clues for how to read a poem okay. and, and how, to, uh, how to interpret a, uh, the, you know, the literary text hmm. and we also have different kinds of genres. Okay. Uh, uh, we have short stories, we have travelogues, uh, we have uh, historical uh, say narratives. And we have what, what to say uh, about uh, what is it uh, Indian landscapes, hmm. we have a lesson in which Goa, Assam hmm. and, 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 and Kurg of Karnataka. Okay. So, this, this kind of cultures and we also kept in British literature, American literature, African literature, so that learners get the uh, kind of varied experience in order to understand the world. That's One is learning, another is development of attitude, values. Uh, and, and of course, skills. So, learners, let me submit to you, read the lessons before the teacher teaches. Absolutely. Yeah. Then I think you have chosen uh, a very appropriate topic for this program. We are going to understand what is not in the textbook, but rather the textbook itself. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for enlightening yeah, us. Yeah, let, me, let me also tell you, we have text from Nelson Mandela's uh, autobiography. Amazing. Uh, and then, then, then we also text from uh, Sardar Patel's okay. uh, convocation speech okay. uh, and, and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, mm -hmm. the activities contextualized. So, learners do not ignore the workbook, workbook also mm. uh, and if you, if, you, if you do correspondingly have, having done one lesson mm. then uh, and then the same time uh, do the workbook and I do not think you need to prepare towards the end of examination in a hurry, hurry and, and you will be naturally Prepare. preparing yeah. very well. Very okay. well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much sir. And uh, we can see that uh, these textbooks are well planned and uh, they are appropriate for all the children and uh, they are going to uh, you know show a lot of things or uh, make them understand a lot of things regarding the English language. Thank you. Thank sir, you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, learners can you send mail to us as you, you, have, you have given mails yeah. or anything uh, particularly in language. We are, we are most welcome. We will be re uh, responding to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Like sir said that you can uh, write your feedback if there is anything, any topic you want us to take up. Please write it down and share it with us on dth.class10 at the rate ciet.nic.in. So, it was a wonderful program. If in case you have missed it, please watch it on NCRT official. It will be uploaded after some time. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, upcoming next program is a science program for all the 10th class children. And the topic of discussion would be chemical reactions and equations. Stay here and keep your questions ready. So, before leaving, just one announcement once again that is regarding India's G20 presidency. We are extremely proud of the fact that India assumed G20 presidency and would convene the G20 leaders summit for the first time in the country this year. A nation deeply committed to democracy and multilateralism, India's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in her history as it seeks to play an important role by finding global pragmatic solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest its true spirit of Vasudeva Kutumbakam or should I say the world is one family. Thank you so much. Take care. Namaskar.